Zoltan see her down. Um, again, I try to not get too excited about any particular streak because uh, it can always get reset at any point on any ship. So uh, when you're losing in a board game, you like to announce I'm here for the social aspect, but that might not apply here. I mean, I'm, I'm here for the streaming aspect, so maybe, maybe, maybe if I come up with enough sayings to not uh, tilt anytime something bad happens, I can find one for each situation. But we're going to get started today and uh, see what random ship we get. So here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. All right, Roxy is an interesting one. Nothing crazy with this guy. Let me get uh, prediction started here. Uh, Will Rand beat Rock C. Go looking for the uh, crystal sector or something. At least it's not Stealth B, right? At least we're not having to start off the day with Stealth B. Uh, this ship is pretty good. Swarm uh, missile and crystal heavy are not bad weapons. Has rock plating to sell. Do I have a crystal C? I feel like I had a or a rock C request. I have a Mantis B Mantis request. I have another Mantis ship border. Let's see here. Um, I think maybe that's... I haven't had a lot of requests lately, so I think I'm caught up on YouTube requests. If you tilt it to one side, we'll tilt me to another, and I'll be fine. <laughs> that's, that's how that works. Uh, do you also... Float for TP on this? Uh, not, not as no, no, I don't. Um, although that's definitely viable. Uh, you could have a rock plus crystal boarding. I don't because the weapons on this ship start better than rock A. You're not at the mercy of running out of missiles because crystal H by itself is good for the first two sectors. I normally don't try to, uh, you know, float 90 scrap for for teleporter but the ship probably would be pretty darn good with a teleporter with the crystal crew and rock crew so all right let's see here i don't want to do this uh we have four nebula jumps if i got all four i could get 16 16 15 14 uh, 13 12 11 10 9 all right so if i got here in seven i think we could get all these jumps potentially 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Sorry. Thinking about getting 16 jumps here. How could I make that happen? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Here and 11. Would that make this 12 if I've gone through two nebulas? I don't know if I can do this actually. Uh, 10. 11, 12, 10. So if I get here in 10, 11, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all these. Uh, let me just try to get here in seven and see what happens. <laughs> I'm trying to plan out my path immediately. You believe I've got this. Ignore your no vote to feed the believers. All right, I'll ignore it. I'll just. You know, I'll ignore it while thinking bad thoughts about you or something. All right, we're about to get boarded. It's fine. Uh, I'll try to sucker punch their missiles to not take a missile. Badly it didn't work. Okay, one damage is fine. Good, no dodges there. Get you here. Uh, if I can make you not able to dodge, that would be great. Okay. All right, not looking great so far. Let's see if I'll need to use another missile. I'm hoping to not use any more missiles. Good, very good. This is one of Gunther's ships. Uh, no, this is an actual rock. This is we're we're vanilla. You know this, Miao Zhidong. We're vanilla. Vanilla Harmonopaz. We don't play viewerships on Vanilla Harmonopaz Day. Uh, you love the sound of crystal weapons hitting a ship. It's a pretty good sound, yeah. Pretty good sound. We definitely want to get second shield first on this ship before anything else, I think. That's a breach, which is nice. Uh, do we ever, like, crew kill? I mean, he's got a heal bay, so I'm thinking no, but look what's happening over there. He probably has two crew because he boarded with one. Yeah, okay. Good. Um, and you know what I forgot? I think I need to prevent clone bay. I think I need to have this happening. 
It's like smashing their car windows. <laughs> yeah, that's what that sounds like. Six. Five, four. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hmm. All right, one, two, three, and then I'll figure out where I'm going here. Uh, you love the sound of smashing car windows. Please don't visit my car. Okay, he's gonna be running. Okay, thank God he doesn't have a defense drone. All right, so. Fuck. Yes, you that's very good. That's very good. Please hit the piloting. Please, no running away. Damn. Not good, not good. Uh, this is gonna be really hard, I think, to stop him from running and not take damage, also. Red Crystal H, do you hit? Good. Now we triple missile his weapons again. Okay. Hopefully. Yeah, he's gonna repair his piloting fast. Okay, that's good, that's good. Alright, we should have this, we should have this. Prepared to. Launch my swarm missile. The crystal age gets dodged right as he repairs piloting here. We're good. We're good. All right. Only took two missiles, I think. There, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. That is enough to get shield value, which is our first goodbye. First buy there. Long range scanners, old shield bypass, abyssal lantern. Well, one of those things would be useful for this run. Maybe two of them if I go boarding, which I don't plan on doing. Updaters, good luck today. Appreciate it. Always need luck. Ah, oh, freaking hell. You know, it's not good luck. A Zultan shield with missile ship. Ugh, F U F T L. Alright, let's go. Difficult fight here. I hope I dodge a lot of missiles, which we probably won't. Please don't missile my weapons over and over with a two damage missile. I fucking hate Ooh. this game. Then why do you play it, Pass Man? Chase, well, quit! Just quit. He literally did Live the thing life. I didn't want him to do. Come the fuck on, man. Get out. Get out. All right, fast Rand won't stop. All right, well, I'm probably just going to take all these missiles. Hey, okay, we dodge one. That's good. Dodging one is good. Dodging all of them would be better. It's a death by a thousand okay. fucking missiles, man. Uh, I'm going to do this. Okay, missile down. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Fucking missiles, man. Okay, now Fucking we go fix that. Okay, all right. We took some damage, like four, three or four damage. Could have been worse, I guess. Still kind of sucks. Uh, terrible deal. Rock C, the stand C stands for crystal. Okay, sounds about right. I'll believe you. All right, all right, we took, yeah, I think that was three missiles. We did dodge one, I think, so could have been worse. First missile in the weapons is the piece of crap that you want to avoid, but Fast Rand took much more damage in this fight. Seems like, what's up, RPG? True, true. He took so much damage, he overlapped himself. Uh, ran the man with two hurt hands. That's me. What's up, Select Tama? How are you doing? All right, that is enough for second shield. And maybe we'll actually fight some ships that second shield will protect us from. So far, I think it's been all missiles, so not ideal. My hands are doing well today. I think they're doing better than yesterday, but it's the start of the day, so. Clone Bay protects us here. Damn it. Okay, uh, let's see if we can plan this out now. So 12. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 4, 3. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not figuring out how to get all these jumps. Maybe, maybe. Okay, what do you got? Single heavy laser and a defense 2 drone. Killing this guy is going to suck, but we can train. So, uh, let's get training going. We can get we can get fully cross-trained here if I'm patient enough, and with speed hack, I should be patient enough. Okay, this, this, this. 
this and fly. And I can fire this, I think. Oh gosh. He failed to shoot down the first shot. Okay, I can't actually. <laughs> that defense drone failed a lot. Okay, I guess I can't train weapons. I wonder if Speed Hack screws with defense drone's ability to shoot stuff down, because getting two crystal heavies through a defense two drone seems random and lucky and unlucky for him to me. Could be worse, it could be raining. Okay. I like the rain. Although, if it's raining and lightning, that could make you lose internet, so that could be not ideal. Okay, well, that was really weird that the Crystal H just got through a couple times there. Alright, um, so I don't want to cross train this. I want to get all these guys fully trained on shields, engines, and piloting, so. We're gonna, we're gonna take the time to do that. Do I have any story times to tell you, my friends? Um, I don't know, anybody got a subject for a story time? Maybe it's just a Steve drone, it probably is a Steve drone. If it's raining while you're grave robbing, it wouldn't be as good. I mean, if it's raining while you're grave robbing, maybe less people would notice you. Because who wants to go out in the rain at a graveyard? It's all spooky and rainy. It'll, it'll, it'll hide your actions. Not that I recommend grave robbing, by the way. It's not a, it's not a, good, not a good look. Also, I feel like it's not that profitable. <laughs> maybe back in the days of the pharaohs, where they had literal gold and jewels and things, it would be worth it. Ground is wet, it's easier to dig. There you go. Maybe maybe raining is ideal time for grave robbing. Okay, so that's done there. There and there. Uh, too late, you already know I'm a grave robber. I mean, if we're talking in like WoW or something, yeah, yeah. If I have a quest for it, totally. We're just digging for worms right on top of this fresh patch of dirt. Story theme grave robbing. I don't think I have any stories about grave robbing in, in my life. Uh, closest thing is in high school, me and my three friends. Uh, when I was in high school, the Blair Witch Project was popular. Uh, you know, the whole found footage movie theme. And so we made our own Blair Witch Project spoof called the Crumb Witch Project because we had a math teacher that one of my friends hated. So she was the Crumb Witch. And so we made our own stupid movie that was supposed to be, you know, like every high schooler probably did in the 90s. Made our own um, version of that. We didn't rob any graves for that, but we did sneak into the, the high school we were going to at night to, like, uh, film in one of the classrooms since it was about our math teacher. So, not really a grave robbing story, but we did sneak into our high school. Which, if you think about it, probably really illegal these days with, you know, how schools are like, dangerous for, like, guns and all that stuff, but, uh, my friend who really hated his math teacher, his mom was a teacher, so he, he, like, borrowed her key so we could sneak into the high school to film part of our film. So, think of all the loot in those graves. Rings, gold teeth, etc. Okay. Uh, you actually douse for worms in graveyards. You get better luck there than near pawns. Interesting. Alright, well, I'm gonna turn the speed up for the weapon. Now the weapon's actually... There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Hey, a free NG. I could not ask for a better free crew. Found film movies were the podcast of the 90s. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Found film, especially found horror films. So. Every white guy you knew was involved in one, yeah. <laughs> Pretty goofy. All right, so if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'll have gone through four nebulas. Eight, nine, ten. I don't know if I can get the eleven I want to get here. Because this won't be in ten, will it? It'd have to be eleven, ten, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I think I found a path that will work if I can remember that. Uh, I'm not powering my swarm here, unfortunately. For the asteroid field. Five free hole damage, wonderful. Just great. Just great. With a double fire. You better not be six free hole damage because of the double fire. Okay, we're good. The saltiest day of the week. Fun fact. Crystal crew are actually made out of giant salt crystals. Cool. Great fun fact. Um, can you lick the crystal crew for science? Sure thing. Garganical looking crystal crew. I do not know what that word means. The worms are nature's grave robbers. Yes. It's funny. Uh, you talk about fan film. Uh, found film movies were the podcast in the 90s where everyone has one. Um... There was a game we played that had all these hidden things in it. It was a card game. What was that card game that had all that hidden stuff in it? And like the video we find that becomes like a found footage thing. What was that game? Uh, fuck you, game. Good dodge, good dodge. Inscription, that was the one. And it had kind of a found footage thing at the end that was like, what is this doing in the middle of a card video game? I just found it so strange. But apparently the guy who... Pro probably the guy who developed that game made his own found footage films back in the 90s too. <laughs> Garganical is a Pokemon. It's a salt crystal golem with a signature salt move. Ah, signature salt move. Power of Pokemon. A signature salt move is what I would have too. Uh, that dude does a lot of AR projects. The guy who did inscription. What are what are AR projects? What's up, Willie Griffin? Can you lick the Pokemon for science? And I already said yes. You you can lick the Pokemon. Augmented reality is what AR is, okay. Oh, is that like that thing where it's like... People do these edited videos to make it look like we're some weird monster chasing somebody through a... It's like Stranger Things, like some monster chasing you through a deserted hallway or something. I remember somebody saying they watched a bunch of those videos and like linked one to me. I was like, yeah, I, that's, I guess that's like the found footage thing of the 90s, I guess. Found items. Augmented reality is found items and out of game puzzles. Okay. Okay, alright. Uh, safe fight, except if he bombs my shields. Which hopefully he won't. Okay, beautiful. Go check sensors, see if there's ever a crew kill here. If you have an NG, then probably not. Okay. Have I ever seen the Don't Look at the Moon videos from Channel 411? No, I don't know what that is. Is that like I was describing earlier, like found footage monster videos or something? Or like, what's the Reddit? Reddit ghost stories or Reddit ghost videos or something? People are trying to make you be all scared with videos that are ghost videos. Sorry, Local 5.8. Okay, I don't know what any of that is. Uh, it's very entertaining. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, let me see if I can remember the path I took. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That should work. I think that works. Do I want to get level two piloting? No, we have clone bait for uh, family search. Oh gosh, you gave me a link to watch. Uh, local 58 tonight weather service. Okay. Attack a pirate. What do we got? Safe fight. Beautiful. Do I want to train anything with this safe fight? Shields on my NG? Sure. Let's do that. 
Um, and I can't train any weapons or anything, so we're just gonna do this. Another time. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch it later. I assume it's some kind of scary thing or something, since that's what I'm talking about. But maybe just an augmented reality. Which, I've not heard that term before. Augmented reality is found items and out-of-game puzzles. Are there other games that have done something like that? Is this Pokemon Go considered an augmented reality game? Yeah, I could see that. There was a there was another mobile game I played that was like that where like it uses Google Maps or your camera or something to like make laser turrets to defend against stuff you find in the world or something. I forget what the name of the game that game was. My friend Tim played it and I tried it a bit. What does TF mean? Twisted Fate is a character from League of Legends. Okay. Get breached on, that's good. If I do this, I think we'll stop repairing engines. Please don't actually repair rise up. That must be a mantis repairing, which is good for us. Ignore that, please, and kill them. Bungie's new marathon game is doing most of its marketing through AR, huh? Interesting. I haven't heard of that game. Wow. Minimum scrap reward for Sector 1. Okay. What was it? 1, 2, 3... Uh, one, two, three, four. I can get seven, though. With Can I get seven? That would have to be six here. Five here. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I have to keep checking this because I can't keep track of it. There it is. One, two, three, four. It's just hard to get all these jumps and remember which path I'm taking. I think there's only one path that actually gets all these jumps that I want. Okay, no boarding. This. Try to sucker punch his missiles. Doge? Dodge. No, you need to be a good doge. You we need to stop him. being a bad doge. Okay, not a good start. We're just dodging literally everything. Gonna fire right as that second swarm missile came up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Uh, not an ideal fight. He dodged our first missile, and then I couldn't hit him again. Come on. There we go. No, don't run. <sighs> you game. It's fine, it's fine. I don't care. I mean, press the process, not the result. Whatever I'm supposed to say to stay positive. Alright, it is delayed at least. Okay. Uh, apparently, Inscription is actually tied to a few of his other games as well. The puzzles lead you on a breadcrumb trail through those other games. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I remember watching videos about. After we finished Inscription, people were like, you need to watch the videos about the outside the game Inscription stuff. There's all this weird stuff with that. Uh, the original Marathon Trilogy from the 90s is your favorite series ever. Unfortunately, the new one is going to be a multiplayer extraction shooter. Barf. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing extraction shooter is like PUBG. Is that what that is? A PUBG is an extraction shooter? shooter? I actually don't need you there, so you can just hang on there. What was the original Marathon Trilogy? Was it just an, a third-person shooter type game or FPS or what? Hmm. Was it Marathon the spiritual predecessor of Halo? Oh, was it? Okay, I have heard of I might have heard of that, actually. I know we've talked a lot about Halo in the past because I was a big Halo, Halo enjoyer back in the day. <laughs> All right, a free weapon. That's huge. That is huge. Do I want to upgrade it? Um, there is a small chance for store. You are here. One, two, 
three, four, five. I don't know if this path that I'm planning is going to work. I think that's going to be on the edge of being taken over. Story for Marathon is incredible. I have three borders, not ideal. Where are they? Around here somewhere. Okay, they're going to my shields. What I can do, I can lock that down. Get you over here. <laughs> we fully vented. Beautiful. I thought they'd actually get through there at the end. But they did not. Well done, Crystal Lockdown. Venting the humans. Get wrecked humans, that's right. So Marathon was the original Marathon Trilogy is your favorite series. What what console was it on? Because back in the 90s, everything was on console, right? Okay. It looks like I am going to get all my jumps. The only way I could have. So... Planning out jumps rewarded. If this isn't a store, I'm probably gonna upgrade weapons. He was on the Mac? Like. Like. Mac computer? <laughs> really? Okay. You're a Macintosh gamer. I didn't know Macintosh had any video games. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. So in order to be a gamer, you had to be on. I don't even know if it was called PC back then. Uh. There's a fucking death by a thousand dodgers. fucking missiles. Okay, yeah, he's probably gonna run. I'd love to get a breach here. I do I accept a missile to save a missile? No. Go fuck. Oh, got him. Yes. <laughs> Alright, Pastor, and it's fine. Six missiles and three fuel is not a bad deal. Um, Ion Stunner doesn't actually help this build at all, so why would I even upgrade my weapons? It's only good if they have two shields. And I kind of do want missiles. Okay, I'm actually going to take that deal, I think. Because if I turn this deal down, it's possible we get only scrap, no consumables, and the second part of the reward jumps away. The person we're saving. Which would be all scrap and no consumables that way as well, I think. I'm gonna take this because six missiles, three fuels. Not max, but I think it's close to max on missiles. Uh, hence, Ren never heard of Marathon. I remember Mist. My older brother played Mist, and I watched it a little bit, but I never really played it. Uh, Doom 2 port, all of LucasArts games. Marathon 2 was ported to PC. I did play the LucasArts games, yeah. X-Wing TIE Fighter, I definitely played those. Oh, this is a safe fight, so I'm just gonna try to end it as quickly as possible. Which, I'm gonna fire one Swarm Missile out of shields, and then I'm gonna Ion Stunner. Ow! Damn this Keep the shields Ow, down. Man. Terrible deal. Marathon 2 was ported to PC. Uh, okay, good. That didn't do damage, which is beautiful for us. One more shot. He doesn't resist. He's dead. Good. Good zero damage fight. Gotta love it. Beautiful. Zero damage solar flare fight. Always a good deal. But I didn't get my store this sector, so it must have been... I think there was one dead end that I didn't check. Yeah, this double dead end back here must have been where my Sector 1 store was. I'm lucky. Swarm is such a glorious cursing missile. True, true. Um, this gives me power for two fuel... Two, okay, I actually think that's fine. It's not super expensive and I'm not using drone parts yet and I just got six missiles. Zoltan or Uncharted is terrible choices. Potentially zero stores, which we got the zero store Uncharted Nebula last week, didn't we? And two guaranteed stores with Zoltan Border Police potential. And then Force Red after. Oh, man. I think I have to go Zoltan here. I think I need two stores. Even though that means Zoltan ships with probably flax and crap. Flax and crap and flax and crap.
F border, please say Uncharted. No. No, I think I need I need think I need my guaranteed two stores. My two nebulas gets me twelve if I want to go through Zoltan Nebulas, which I don't really want to. Um actually maybe I have my Ion Stunner online at first to get through Zoltan Shields quicker. And do this upgrade. You know, I am gonna do this. Has Zoltan Shield ships, this helps me get through Zoltan Shields. I'm gonna actually do that. You got the choice. Uncharted can screw you at times. Yeah. Right, his weapons aren't too crazy, thankfully. Auto fire. Auto fire. Good first hit. Dodge the second one. That's okay. Very good. Potential I don't. Need to use a missile here. Potential. Let's see. Good dodge. If this is weapons, we're good. We're good. Uh, the only issue is, is if, if he starts to run. So let's go for piling. Good. How is Zoltan Sector scrap wise on average? I don't know because I don't have those things memorized. You have to check the spreadsheet that's floating around with scrap games. I don't know if I've ever... I think I've seen it once, because I think Pro Ravel or Mike Hopley or somebody showed it to me. Uh, somebody did a bunch of... or maybe Sleeping Dragon. Yeah, we have enough for hacking. Um, Definitely going down to check for stores. I don't know if I'm going through the two nebulas or not, since this is all nebula. Okay, store. All right. Well, we're definitely going here, then. I have enough for hacking. can sell rock hole plating, and I'd like a different weapon. Albert Beam is good. Does it work with what we're doing? Ion Center Halberd Beam. Hmm. Not ideal for what? For early game, I would say. Not a lot of synergy between Halberd Beam and what we have, but do I buy it just because it's S tier? Why would I buy Med Bay? The last thing I want to do with the store. Uh, Charge 2 laser might actually be... This might actually be better because this plus he Crystal Heavy might be better. Hmm. I'm going to do this and repair a bit. Buy some fuel and call that good for now. I'm not gonna use that yet. But I'm buying that because test your weapon and all that. I hope I didn't get debated by the halberd beam. Is the list not on Mike's website? Uh a scrap gains per sector averages? No. I, well, I don't know. You could check. Yeah, it's a safe fight. Cow just found it, so apparently it's better than Slug, worse than Lanius. Really? Zeltan's considered better than Slug. That's interesting to me. Fire this and then stun you there. No repairs allowed. This is a safe fight. Is there any training I need to get? Only if I want to train my NG and stuff other than shields. Yeah, feel free to post the link. You found it on Reddit. Nice. Every crystal and halberd are both great, but have piss poor synergy. Exactly. That's why I was considering getting something else. I'm hoping I get a burst laser or a flak to go with the halberd beam. Called Sector Profit Data from 200x Sector 4 Hard. Okay. Okay. 18 scrap, not bad. Not sure if I'm gonna go to distress or not. Let's see, yeah, if I go this way, I have more chance of getting my second store. Seven, no. Okay, what do we got? Probably defense drones here, right? Yes. But it is a safe fight. 
So here's where Halberd Beam is actually huge. Um, I can Ion Stunner plus Halberd Beam. Actually, this is a great... I can... With Ion Stunner, I could have trained my weapons a while ago. Let's do that right now, actually. This should be safe for me to train my weapons. There we go. Uh, any crew kill possible here? That's not like for Mantis or anything? No, okay. So let's go a four shot. Oh, get one shot. Holy shnikes. Uh, Ron Luck, thank you for the 10 months of Tier 1 subs. Appreciate that support. I appreciate that. Okay, alright. Uh, this is my second store. I've already seen one store, right? I can get two more gems for this store if I want to min max, and I do want to min max. If we get hacking for a flak, it'd be amazing. Alright, another safe fight. He's gonna board me, though. Oh, uh, there might be a way to crew kill this. Um, uh, it's always hard to do when there's a heal bay, though. Yeah, NG in a heal bay. I, I don't. I don't see me ever crew killing this, so I'm gonna not even try anymore. Direct. And gotta love Halberd Beam. Gotta love Halberd Beam. So one, two, three, four, five. Should be safe and give me one extra jump before the store. Okay, uh, Zoltan Shield ship, but it's a safe fight, so continue to use the non consumable using weapon. Of Ion and Hel uh, Halberd Beam. I was about to be stupid and say something positive about FTL, which is tempting fate, so I chose not to be stupid and say something positive about FTL. Uh, let's see here. You know, I was thinking chance of fire for crew kill, eh, these missiles, chance of breach, probably not actually going to kill them. All right, that's a great double reward with something to stall right before the store. Beautiful. All right, come on, hacking. Come on, flak. Come on, burst laser two. Lots of good things we could get. This store has none of them. All right, well, I guess I buy backup battery and call it a day, I guess. really hoping for an offensive upgrade but I mean we have I guess I guess swarm halberd beam honestly against two shield ships this is probably better we can ion stun and crystal H and that gets me through two shields if everything hits and swarm missile of course ignore shield so I'm gonna not spend everything because if there's an early store next sector I'd like to have scrap for that They just buy fuel at that store, but it was, I think, three scrap each. Alright. Here it is. Um, okay, okay. It's all about micro here. I'm going to auto fire two and three at weapons, and then we got a micro. And I was not in the doors. That was a mistake. You need to be a good doge. Is that not you venting? need to stop being a bad doge. It is. Okay, good dodges. Okay. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Okay, please get the freaking weapon offline. There it is. Okay, alright. 
All right, we have survived Zoltan Border Police. The piece of crap. Zoltan Border Police. I don't know if crew killing does any good, but let's see if we have that potential here. Freaking Zoltan Border Police. So cheesy and unfair. Okay, good. Amazing Micro, thank you. And that was with me failing to have OMD. I was in sensors before that. I had to really move their crew around. Jeez. FTL generic question. Why do all the bombers run to shields? All the bombers. Um, so you're asking about the AI of enemy borders. If they have two crew, they're going to prioritize fighting you in a two-person room so that you can't 3v2 them. If they have three or four, they're going to prioritize being in a four-person room so that they could potentially 4v2 you. I think that's the reason. Uh, you can't stay. You'll check the VOD later. Good luck streaking off the football for the night up the arsenal. All right. Have a good time, I watch FTL. Yeah, so basically they ran to the nearest O2 full room, I think. Think, although I don't know if that was the nearest. But, yeah. What's up, Mike? Mike Copley can give you an even better answer to that, but I think it had to do with the fact that uh, there were three crew on her ship, and they prioritized going to a four-person room. I think. It's gonna be a rock man. Sure, sure. Uh, I think this is the same cost as at a store, and I don't want to lose. The scrap to get hacking right now, so although next sector might start to be three three cost repairs. Prime evil paladin. Just remember to pay Paladin. Pay the cookies. Pay the cookie total, you don't get no roll. That's right. Just remember to pay the cookies. Hopefully somebody can tell you to do that. Wow, forced rock, huh? Alright. Well, we do have rock live mine protection with Clone Bay, which is good, but what's not good is fighting cloaking rock missile ships, so. Hmm, what weapon build do I want to do here? I think I, against two shields is better. Be exact. Enemies prioritize a room with exactly the same number of space as their borders. But if there's three borders, what do they do? Do they go to a four-person room or a two-person room? It looks like they go to a four-person room. Yeah. Cloaking and missiles. Okay, at least it's only one shield, but cloaking and missiles. Shitty effing rock ships. Oh, fuck you, FDL. Ooh, fuck you. Get that off How did you dodge everything? Hell, what? Man. Fucking fuck you. He's dodged literally every I single one of my shots. Okay, there we go. I don't think we get another shot off here, do we? No. Can't be a rock ship without cloak and missile, apparently. Well, I'm a rock ship without cloaking and missile. That's level two cloaking at least too, which is bullshit. Come on. Thank you. Man, you should just, have zero oh, death by thousand just think of this guy. Oh, that's level three cloaking? Because I just hit him with a two damage shot. Jesus. Think of this guy at two shields to go with this level three cloaking and missile. Level three cloaking and a two damage missile. What a stupid fight. Alright. I'm keeping his crap down at least now. Three borders should not have a preference for room size unless maybe it's a med bay with reusable tiles. Okay. Death by a thousand oh, fucking miss on, man. Uh, no true Rockman fallacy. Okay. Nice. Shouldn't take any more missiles here, hopefully. Uh, directly from Xenix Docks. A five point penalty is added for rooms that don't have the exact same number of slots as the number of borders. Five point penalty. Ooh. Store? No store. Jesus. 
I have a bunch of weapons that don't synergize super well because I bought the halberd beam instead of the charged laser. Come on, I have a store with hacking or a weapon, please. Holy fucking burst, double burst laser two with two shields. Okay. Holy shit, this ship is insane. God fucking damn it, game! What the actual fire. fuck? Oh, uh, this is really bad. Okay. No dodges. I need you over here. I How fucking did you hate this my game? Don't hit my clone base. Okay. Uh, this is really bad. Again, my O2 is now broken, and... Oh, I damn fucking this hate fucking this game. Dog, man. Man. Fuck me, man. Uh, am I dead? Home bay is dead. Oh, this is really bad. You don't get the dodge. They have all of the dodges. Okay. Uh, my shields are getting attacked. Okay, all right. Fucking missiles, man. Fucking missiles. Jesus Christ. Okay, fix my clone bay. Uh. Holy shit, what a shitty bullshit fight. Man, what the actual fuck? Okay, well, we're not dead. Holy shit. Double burst laser two, heavy laser one, two shield ship in sector three with three rock borders. I need to refresh my crew. Um... Good micro, thank you. I lost one rock, dude. I, uh, maybe there was a way to do that better, but... Jesus Christ, what a fucking stupid fight that was. Two shield rock ship, double burst laser two, heavy laser one. That was insane. What a fucking insane ship that was. Sector three, by the way. Sector three. Stupidly shitty bullshit unfair fight that was. Alright, so I lost my engine training, but I have to I have to OMD for these stupid overpowered free rock borders. Jesus Christ. I have a store? No, nope, nope, I fucking can't. Two guaranteed stores, and I can't find the goddamn one of them. Oh my god. Look at this isolated piece of shit sector. One, two, three, four. Four jumps isolated past the exit beacon. That's you, FTL. Asteroid field and asteroid field, big giant missile. Fucking hell, man. I'm gonna try to bust it. It's called Sucker Punch's Missile, which did work this time at least. Ooh. Not that I even have backup battery, to be honest. I fucking hate this game! Then why do you play Double it, resist at 10%. Jeez, quit! Just quit! Live your life! You don't need this negativity, Pastor Man, and I'm sick of hearing it. Get uh, out. Get man, out. rock sectors. Yeah, there's a reason I hate them. Reason I hate them. Okay, there's one of my stores. Give me something good. Give me something good, like a flak or a hacking, please. Hacking, okay. Alright, with hacking, what's what do I want to do with my weapons with hacking? Do I want to hack Halberd Beam? Mm, 
Yeah, Storm Missile is doing a lot of work right now. I could go Swarm Halberd if I do this. Two. I need to repair. Is there a second store here? Four, five, six, seven. So I can get this if it's a store. Um, I think I need hack two here. If I see rock home worlds, will I go there for a chance of crystal world uh, home worlds? It completely depends on my situation. Completely depends on my situation. I do not feel strong right now. Backup battery hacking. Iron Center plus Halberd Beam, maybe. Is this better? I'm not sure. Yes, this is distress behind my head. So, five, four, three, two, one. And now let me go five, six, seven. Okay. The jump is empty. Okay. Well, we now know it's not a store, but it's an escort, so the escort could become a store. I believe that's true. Okay. My missile defense is this. So we do that. I need to get I need to get you engine training now. Since I lost my engine trained rock. Although I did cross train. So it's swap. It's swap. That's a nice double reward. Would I rather have engine training over weapon training? Maybe, maybe I do. Okay, uh, am I saving or am I upgrading? I need I need at least one power. I'm gonna buy one power here. Ah, oh, this rock sector three has been a pain. Solar flicker. This is not three borders. Okay, again, this is our missile defense. I should do it. Got it. Nice. Zero damage. Fight. It's fine. Okay. Albert coming in clutch, huh? Investigate. Can I please have a crew to make up for the lost crew, please? Nope, nope, I can't. Alright, well, let's see if we get a store for this escort. The reactor, okay, that's that's not bad. There's my second store, we'd have to die if we're not diving for a store. His ship exploding rise of solo flare went off is satisfying. Nice, nice. All right, four slug. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to buy level two hundred two here. Is there an early store? No. Fights are not gonna be short against these slug ships. Wearing radiation is terrifying right now. We do have crystal lockdown to hopefully help while I hopefully vent wearing radiation enemies. 
I'm gonna half tack shields, kill him with halberd beam with my current build, I think. Troll store, hmm. Quite get the timing to get two weapons offline, but that's okay. We're good. Let's wait here. No surrender, you go to hell and you die. You go to hell, you die! Six-man scrap, the best man scrap. Does wearing radiation turn off your clone bay? Yes, it does. You need to have level two heal bay to keep one level of heal bay online, and a higher level of clone bay does nothing against worrying radiation. Okay, uh, I feel like I need an extra engine right now. Being stuck at one engine is bad. So I feel like I want a weapon upgrade, but I kind of want to be able to afford Stuff at stores. Yeah, because that's scary. Yeah, it's the scariest event in the slug sector, in my opinion. If I'm shield hacking heavy, Crystal might do more than Ion Stunner. Potentially. Stunning them in the shield room or the weapons room as they're trying to repair could be useful, but... That does do whole damage if it hits, so... Yeah, that's probably true. I kind of want to get the one more weapon power so I could have them both, but I also want to not spend all my scrap right now, so. Yeah, this is probably slightly better. Can I have a free crew, please? No. That is a flak 2, okay. And a defense 2 drone. Uh, now it doesn't matter what we have, it's just gonna go offline, but. If we hit their drone control, maybe our Crystal H can do something. Nope. But the Flak 2 is offline. It, this means they have 5 drone power for this to not go offline us doing 2, do, two damage to it. But it's alright. It's alright. Move you. So auto fire that for training, I guess. Uh, I don't need to rush this. I can actually get some a little bit of weapon training here. I don't want to wait too long though. That fires and that fires there. Okay, good scrap gains, good scrap gains. No store yet. sell except my weapons. I think I should do that upgrade. This could allow me to hack weapons against a two shield ship. Three shield ship. We could barely do damage. I still plan on hacking shields for Halberd Beam to really do its work. I'll also turn on Swarm Missile plus Halberd with this build if I prefer. a little bit of flexibility and options. We have two guaranteed uh, nebula stores somewhere this sector. Wearing radiation. So there has to be a store. One, two, three, four. Two of these four jumps are stores because I've seen every other nebula jump. So... No boarding, please. Where did it go? In my sensors or my hacking? I didn't see. That better be in my sensors. Okay, that's good. Okay, good. Okay. Ooh, that was scary. Okay. Uh, let's 
to fix the breach in here. Man, if that Iron Intruder drone was in my weapons or hacking, that could have been really bad. Or actually shields might have been even worse, I don't know. Okay, well here, here or here, two of those have stores. Probably at the dead end like it always is. So eight, seven, six, five. Yeah, we can get plenty of jumps with all that out there. I could just get a flak. My weapons this one would be so good. Of course that's like always true, I guess. Do I ever not use hacking here? He's gonna board me. He only has three shots. His weapons aren't very good. Let's not be greedy. Let's just hack shields and try to one-shot him. He might fall very good. That's why we prevent that room. all saw but that guy boarded in here I could see because it there are little fists appeared above there so this is why I vent this if they kill my clone bay that makes anti-boarding really hard so I recommend on this ship if you're worried about boarding prevent clone bay all right this has to be a store I've seen every nebula jump so there has to be one here and one here just no other possibility with the way slug sectors spawn I think Good tip. Hopefully. Hopefully it's useful for you all. Closer. Man, the rock should pay. Don't do five free hole damage. Yeah! Free reactor upgrade. It's like the one of two really good outcomes there. Okay. Come on, Flack. Actually, do I go full greed mode? One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. I'm just gonna go now. I don't want to greed mode too hard. The rock actually agreed. Yeah, I know, right? Cloaking. I sold two things. Can I get cloaking right now? Thirty-two is a hundred and forty. If I sold swarm and one other thing, I could go cloak hack. I'd have halberd beam plus one other weapon. Cloak hack is the dream. Do we sell swarm and ion stunner to do that? Is that gonna that is gonna be it, right? Yeah, we'll have like seven scrap extra. I think it's worth cloak hack cycle, but it's not actually cloak hack cycle because I have to hack shields to get through with my halberd beam. Gonna need fuel, yeah, but I'm I'm less worried about fuel than I am my systems. Door near exit two. Yeah, there is one guaranteed here. I think just buying cloaking and getting whatever fuel I can with the difference is the best play, though. I don't love selling. Those two weapons, but I think that's the right play. And now we kind of hope there's no store out here and just get as much scrap as possible and then maybe dive for this store. Selling two weapons sucks, but you think that's what you would do here as well? Yeah, I think the cloak is just it's just it means we are relying on shield hacking, but it's just we have we have cloaking and hacking, you know. I think that's just the play. Do, 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 
Alright, one more extra weapon training if I let that fire. There it is. Uh, that was more than one fuel I'd consider it. Honestly, my biggest weakness right now, I think, is boarding. Uh, with the lost crew and the sh pretty... I going to say bad venting. I guess the venting's not actually bad on this ship. Just there's a lot of susceptibilities if they instantly board in your doors or something. In the short term, you're swapping cloak for hack is my defense, but I also don't have to shield hack. If I was really dangerous, I can just hack weapons and run. That's true. I could hack weapons and run. That is an option. And I could cloak hack cycle if they have two shields. Um, Without a mantis for a blue option, let me look this one up. FTL sends some crew to help. Pretty sure you don't do this without a Mantis Blue option. You either get high scrap, board it, and a ship fight, or lose a crew member and a ship fight. So Clone Bay does protect me. So we either get boarded or we lose a crew and f we either get boarded and fight or lose a crew and fight. I think I think I do this. I said my biggest weakness is boarding. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do it. Okay. That's okay. He's cloned. And we're not boarding. It's all fine. It's all fine. Um Do I need to crew kill this fight? Uh, I don't think it mentioned anything about crew killing being any better, so... But I can get an extra weapon training or two if I kill him one shot at a time. <laughs> now they're trying to surrender. No. We get high... S uh, actually, I don't know if we get high scrap forward. I think it's just random scrap forward. So maybe crew killing is better here. Maybe crew killing actually is better here. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this things get dicey, I'll finish him, but this should be a this should be a crew kill. Uh I don't have to shield hack, the fight is dangerous, you can hack weapons to run, so this is a very large improvement in safety. Okay. You know, wearing radiation just gives you high scrap. Yeah. This isn't wearing radiation. And it says slug. I think it says default rewards. So I think because it was default rewards, that means who killing on average is going to be a better reward here. I think. I'm not 100% sure on that. Oh, I can auto fire this for training now. This guy's two shields up. How's, how's this NG doing on training, by the way? Not very well. You got refreshed by this event. Default rewards does mean that on average, better rewards from through killing. Okay, cool. Now you should be dying soon. Beautiful. 34 in Sector 4, I think, is a high scrap reward. So my results-based analysis says that was the right play. All right, so if this is a store, we have third store. I don't want to do this. If I go through this nebula, this should be fine in four. So one, two, three, four, five, dive. It'll be medium scrap plus two random resources for a ship kill or the standard nine outcomes for a crew kill. Standard nine, okay. So that looked like medium scrap plus two resources then if what uh, you described is correct. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, I need crew desperately. Um...
Well, you have literally the worst training you could possibly have. Well, maybe maybe fighting or repair. No, repair would be useful. Fighting, vaguely useful. Yeah, that's literally the worst tr training you could have. But I think I take take as cheap Zeltan. I kind of wish I could get both of these. I'm gonna take that. Um, so we put you on engines, you on weapons, and save you on shields. I lose some training here, but gives me power. Wrongly chained, but is asking for lower than a skill as human, though. True, true. <laughs> it's like I can do everything you don't need. And I'll give you a discount. <laughs> That's what that guy's doing. He can he can do everything that we don't need him to do. Alright, they're gonna try to burn me out, but I need my hacking. This is a safe fight. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice! Alright, we can get retrained here. Get completely retrained here, so. Uh, this means I could train you on shields and engines, and I think I am going to do that. They're going to try to burn me out with double fire beams. Good luck on that. Get ready for your ears to bleed, everybody, by the way. Uh, and I can train weapons. Very loud noises. Okay, uh, so that is engines and piloting done. Let's put you there. Weapons are done. Let's uh, let's swap you guys out. The training ship in Sector 4 feels rare, so we should take this opportunity. How do you speed up the game? Uh, Google FTL speed hack. There is software called Cheat Engine that lets you do this. It is very dangerous. Very dangerous. You, I have lost a run doing this. So you have to be careful with this. I'm just that good. No, it is It is external to FTL software that lets you do this. Okay, you can get your weapon training now. Your speed hack doesn't work, probably be a little paladin, yeah. It can be a pain to get work, because what it does is it changes the max FPS on your NVIDIA settings or something like that. Have ever speed hacked a dying crew in clone bay? You mean like got him killed because I speed hacked while they were dying? Um, uh, maybe. Yeah, stop auto firing. Um... Am I okay with that to be of my training? I think I'm okay with that being done. So now I gotta decide what my what my final positioning is. I prefer you in shields. But I'm gonna OMD with the NG, so I think I'm gonna do this. And then I move him to doors. I think is how we're gonna do this. Okay, now to actually kill this guy, I do have to have his shields, so let's do that. Uh, you have a video explaining how to set it up correctly. There you go, Mike. If you want to link that in chat, feel free. Turned off your V-Sync and it still only takes it to times two. That might mean that your in-game settings are not correct. I think you have to go to options and turn off vertical sync. You might have to turn that off. But I don't know. I'm no expert in this. Uh, I like refreshing them and speed hacking but forgot to power the clone bay. I probably have done that. I've gotten better about not making that mistake, I think, but I've probably done that. There, there's the link from Mike there. All right, is, there, is that my guaranteed store? It is. So do I dive with cloaking hacking for my guaranteed store with 58 scrap? I could buy a heavy laser one. I could buy long range scanners. I couldn't buy mind control. I don't know if the dive is worth. I, I could buy a two damage, a two shot, two, two power laser. Basically, it's first laser one or charge laser one, I think. I think those are 50 and 55. 
Uh, is a chance for a chance for that worth? Two fuel and a dive. I could buy a flak if I sell Crystal H. Is that true? This sells for ten. Actually, that is true. I'm gonna go there. None of that stuff's gonna be there, but I can hack a cloak runaway. All right, you convinced me. If you convince me that it's possible to get a flak, that's that's when I go for it. Okay. This was the other two-shot, two-power laser I wasn't thinking of, but I can afford it, so. Let's do that. My fuel. All right, so now we're hacking weapons and running away is what we're doing here. Hope we're not getting boarded. If we're getting boarded, that's not ideal. Black Albert is great. It's one of my favorite combos. Okay, no teleporter. That's great for us. Or that we could we even have the potential to do damage here. Just has to dodge nothing. Okay, okay. I might greed here. Uh, his laser's about to fire. Oh, we do hack it in time. Okay. Okay, we might actually get the... We might actually get the fuel. With the no-dodge there. Good. The zero dodges for him is great for us. All right, trying to min-max my hacking cloaking cycle here, and I think I'm doing it right. Basically, want this to end as close to the bottom as possible. I think it's a little late then. Yeah, dodge. That's okay. We got cloaking. We we'll need one more double hit and we're good to get the fuel. There it is. Dive ship, smive ship. Give me a fuel. Give me a fuel. Beautiful. Okay. NG or NG? Go to the NG here. I don't like NG Homeworlds usually because the NG Homeworlds quest is not very good. One whole fuel, what a flex, I know. Just score farming there. We have a lot of blue options for distress. That is not one of them, but that is a good deal. One damage for four fuel, 45 scrap, I'll take that deal every day of the week. Is it going to be two damage? Hopefully not. Okay, close. Could you please explain the prevent mechanic? Sure. Um, one of the worst rooms to fight in in the game is a clone bay in a two-person room because the clone apparatus takes up a slot and you can never 2v1 in this room. So, if they insta-board in your clone bay, there's going to be... Think of Mantis boarding police, and they board with two Mantis. There's going to be one Mantis in there, and if this room is not prevented, he probably breaks your clone bay before you can stop him. Um, so if you prevent the clone bay, that forces whoever boards in there to run out immediately. So this is to not instantly lose my clone bay to three boarding events, and then making my boarding micro terrifying as hell. Because then I'd be trying to fight off two to four Mantis, Zoltans, whatever it is, with no clone bait. And that's very scary. So, in my opinion, this is the best way to avoid your clone bait going offline to free boarding events. What about boarding drones? Oh, they suck. And this doesn't really account for that, I guess. 
Yeah, you probably have time. I also only have four crew, so that's something to keep in mind. And before I had an NG, they were all rock and crystal, which are very slow. You'd have to instantly respond to it. We are playing no pause. Instantly responding to anything is very, very difficult. Sometimes impossible, depending on the situation. So this is my, in my opinion, the best way to do this when you're not pausing the game. Oh, come on, Good. man, these fucking dodges. Damn it. Really, I do all that effing damage and he still has a missile online. Here it comes. Okay, so one damage missile. Please no dodges. Fucking damn it, game! What F the actual weapons. fuck? F your weapons. Mike is talking from a pausing perspective. I'm talking from a no pause perspective. Uh, if you can pause and then move your crew, you probably can keep your clone baby go from going offline. But if you can't pause and you're not instantly responding to a boarding event, I have lost crew because my clone bay got boarded and killed before I could move crew over there. So. Did you know that real life is no pause hard mode? True, true. That would be a good YouTube short. Well, if you want to uh, highlight it so I can <laughs> move it to YouTube shorts later, you're, feel free. You have a few seconds at least where you need to vent, and that's even if you open only one vent. Yes. Yes. If you are playing perfectly, you have a two-second window. Again, to me, that's not enough of a window. I am trying to play around not playing perfectly, because... I can't get both these swords unless I backtrack. It's you don't think it's two seconds. Alright, well, you can do the testing or whatever and tell me what the actual window is, but in my experience, it's a very small window. Because this ship starts with three crew that are the slowest in the game except for Crystal. So with two vents. Alright, let's let's talk through this thing that Mike's Mike's talking about. Let's assume we have this crew. I get insubordinated in here. How long does it take me to open all of these doors? Anybody got a stopwatch? Three, two, one, go. One, two. About one and a half seconds if I instantly do it. If I instantly do it, it takes me about a second and a half to open all those doors. Um... I will almost never be able to do that instantly because there's this weird thing where if you have crew selected and you click on doors, you have to click twice before you're actually hitting the doors. You have to not misclick around the doors. And in no pause, it's a very precise kick, click. I don't believe playing no pause that it's good to play around that small of margins. I, maybe if you are better at clicking than I am and faster react, react, reacting to I, than I am, then you can play around that. I think that is playing with too small of a margin for error. You can only one, you right, but you can one only vent with one air life and or two leave internal doors open. Uh... I guess you're saying doing this so you only have one door to open? Again, sure, sure. I'm leaving myself more margins for error by not doing this. So if you're more skilled than I am, feel free to do what Mike Copley's recommending. I'm doing what I have found to be consistently more safe with insta-boarding events. Uh, by three. I'm really hoping for 
mind control here. You're correcting my claim about time. Okay. There's mind control. I don't know what the timing would be if my if oxygen is actually full cuz usually you're not going with your oxygen half filled. So just because I'm curious, how long would it take to vent this room if I have level 102 and these doors open? 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, probably between six and eight seconds. And if you say it takes 12 seconds to do damage, it's probably a window of four to six seconds somewhere in there. All right, Mike's going to do some timing. I'm going to continue to do this, but Mike can give us some timing answers, I guess. If somebody really wants to know, uh, all the little margins in there. Can I... My systems are done. Which, now that I have mind control, I'm actually just closing it. Because my I can just mind control whoever's in there. Uh, I want to buy that fuel. Mind control makes a lot of this moot. A lot of these points kind of less important, in my opinion. Uh, they leave at 10%. Uh, O2, not 5 or 0. Okay. Except their free stuff. Um, Bible Thump is gone now. Actually, I'm seeing it. Why am I seeing it? Oh, because it's a Franker Face Z thing. Apparently, Bible Thump still exists if you download Franker Face Z. I think. <laughs> ah, three shields, cloaking, missile, scary ship. F your, F your missiles, level 3 cloaking again. Ah, this missile's already back up somehow. Alright, we have cloaking for the next volley. He's running. You're running away from me with that, with that crazy build. Get wrecked. Get blasted, sir. Oh, he resisted. Okay. Um, the V-Sync setting in game worked for your, uh, cheat engine. Nice, Primeval Paladin. Glad we got that figured out. He is scared of me, apparently. But yes, I would recommend to new players playing Harbo No Pause on this ship, prevent here. If you're experienced, really good at micro, there's probably some... Uh, wiggle room and... What's the word? I'm trying to think of polishing you can do to like do something like this and then open the doors if you trust your micro to react quickly enough. I just, in my opinion, the best way to play hard, FTL Harbor No Pause is to simplify as much as possible. Preventing is one of, in my opinion, the best way to simplify anti boarding. Because if you don't prevent your. Giving yourself less outs if something bad happens. Now, you could probably argue that there are downsides to this, like a boarding drone in your clone bay. But I like to play around what's more likely to happen, which is free boarding than what's less likely to happen. An ion intruder or drone or a boarding drone hitting the one out of 12 systems or whatever in clone bay. So that's that's my suggestion for newer Harbono Pause players. With O2 on and one vent, it's much too close for comfort. It's 11 seconds for 5%. For the record, you would probably do the same thing as I was if you were playing without pause. Yeah, I I, I recommend this because it's just easier. It's like it's like when you 
I mean, I, I use League of Legends analogies all the time because I watch League of Legends for fun. I don't play it, but I watch it. It's... If you are in a lower tier of MMR or whatever it is, like you're a bronze player instead of a platinum player, you want to play easier champions to learn the basics. You don't want to play the highest skill ceiling champion that's ridiculously hard to play when you're starting. You want to give yourself... Oh god, am I about to get punished? Okay. Kind of, actually. Oh, did I just... I just totally screwed that up. Okay, good. Got a drone control offline. I talk about worst case scenario and it almost happens the very next jump. Because FTL is like that. But thankfully, he didn't get in my clone bay. And we have my control tools to deal with it now. But... Uh, steel supplies? Yeah, it's fine. We're just evil people, and I'm fine with that. Uh, Pislo ELO loves Yasuo. <laughs> With O2 off and one vent, it's about 8 seconds to drain, so 4.5 to spare. Yeah. And I would say one of the things that I've done for a while, so if I did do this strategy that Mike Copley's talking about where I do this, it's, it's pretty not too hard to just go, bam, shift F, shift F. So that probably would be doable for me. But again, if I have free borders... The worst events in the game aren't just free borders. They're free borders plus hacking plus offensive drones in an asteroid field or something. They're like compounding things. And if you are if you are leaving it so that you have to do all this micro, you're ignoring other things that are happening happening unless you're really really good. So, again, keep it simple. Stupid is what I would recommend. Yes, free borders plus fight with enemy TP. Maybe they have mind control. You know, there's there's very few things that happen to you in FTL happen in a vacuum, except for uh, uh, venting humans. Giggity. So you wanna you wanna play. You wanna be able to be able to react, react, not have to do. Don't force yourself to do multiple things all at the same time on hard mode no pause, especially if you're new. Um. That. Do the weapon upgrade. As you were saying originally, the reason you like my ideas that simplifies the fights when a lot is going on. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, I hacked slightly too early because my weapons weren't trained because I had to go into my uh, sensors to use my mind control there. Okay. Three rock borders plus TP rocks with cloak missile in an asteroid field. Yeah, sounds fun. Sounds like a fun event. We get. Now I can cloak hack cycle if I need to. And I can if I go three to one, I actually can get through three shields. Crystal H hits first. They hit a shield, and these hit the other two shields. If they all hit, obviously. But did I blow up a beam drone? Did he block one of my shots? I think he did, didn't he? Missile plus hacking auto hacker, okay. It's fine. At least this hack is terrible. Thanks for having a terrible hack. Doge? No, you need to be a good doge. You need to stop being a bad doge. I hate how we, like, the missile goes offline, then it comes back on, then it goes off. I don't understand freaking AI just swapping power between weapons in the middle of a volley. So annoying. I think it has to do with weapon charge times, but that, that AI is so weird on that. 
Uh, especially if you were to play no pause, you would r r you would around your limitations. I guess play around your limitations a lot. You'd be doing things like opening all the airlock doors and catch a lay before you jump, looking at anything that could simplify micro. Yeah. How long it's take to make 28 streak no pause from first no pause win? A couple years, YTK. Um, you could probably go onto my YouTube playlist and figure it out. I don't remember the exact timing, but it was definitely it was at least a couple of years from my first hard monopause win to um, successfully completing the cycle. The Jubate missile, huh? Double halberd beam. I like double halberd beam sometimes. I don't think I like it here. I like double halberd here. Oh, laser one. Yeah. Kind of coming up by drone part here. Two, five, six, seven, eight. Can't get all my jumps here, sadly. Feels like I've been playing no pause a lot longer than that. Well, the first time I played No Pause led to, I think, my first time of quitting FTL and taking a break, unsurprisingly. So, but then when I returned to it, which was probably the first time, well, it wasn't the first time I got a, a win on No Pause, it was the first time I was consistently really attempting it. Uh, it was probably like two to three years would be my guess, but might be longer than that. I don't know. I have a hard time keeping the concept of time straight in my mind, so. Wow, I am dodging literally nothing right now. Zero dodges. Reverse AP2 is about to hit with no cloaking, isn't it? Holy triple dodge, get wrecked. Get wrecked. Just eye on my weapons, it's fine. Decent deal. But again, you'd have to look at my YouTube video list. The good thing about the YouTube videos is I don't have to remember. You can look it up. <laughs> Check the VOD because I'm too lazy and forgetful to, to know. Uh, holy moly, those doges. Yeah. Clutch doges for my, for, my, for my ship there. That's why I put things on YouTube so I don't have to remember them. Too much brain power to remember all that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Reloader. Still no flak or burst laser two. You know what? I think I might need crew more than anything right now. We got one free NG, lost a rock, and then bought a cheap Zoltan. I think I buy an NG here. I think that's more important than anything else. Get a silly device. I feel like I missed a rename request earlier, didn't I? Uh, maybe I did get it. I write, I lost my right to say I never dodge, only enemies do, until I get hit three times in a row with 95% chance to dodge again. Okay, I do not accept that. I do not accept anybody reducing my right to complain in FTL. I do not accept it. Uh, you're kind of surprised you don't see no pause players leaving isolated airlock rooms open. Uh, isolated airlock rooms open. Yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. And that's something that if I remem remember, I sometimes do. But I also become a little less concerned with preventing when I have mind control. But like, I feel like on Zoltan C, I'm better about preventing than I am on, like, this ship. Please don't give me a map. Yeah, all right. Uh, stuff like Kesherlay, Zoltan C, lower airlock, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy, four shields, triple missiles, Batman. And fucking boarding. Oh, 
bullshit ship this is. Oh, come on, man. Okay, we got one of the fucking three missiles offline. Oh, one's a bomb. Stupid shit. Oh, and what do you know? They're all fucking back online. My on my weapons, right? Come on, fuck you, FTL. Right, I'm leaving this what fucking the hell? fight. Death by a thousand fucking missiles. Get the goddamn fuck out of here. What a bullshit ship. Four shields, triple missile using weapons, duck. Fucking mantis boarding. Fuck you, FTL. That's an outright cheating ship right there. That's in Sector 6. That was a four shield mantis guy with three missile using weapons and double mantis boarding in Sector 6. We've had two ridiculous fights this run. What was the other one? It was a Sector 3 ship with double burst laser, two heavy laser, and three shields, I think. Some stupidly overpowered ships this run. Get me the F out of there, man. And that ship has 14 consumable missiles? Yeah. Being cheating ass mother effers. Get me out. Okay, well, we got some free missiles ourselves. Apparently, this is missile NG sector. sound coming from outside. Um, do I buy another cheap Zoltan? Yeah, it's crew and it's power. We have some ion immunity here. That ship was putting the bomber into Mantis Bomber, lol. <laughs> yep. yep, it was. Screw Zoltans. Yeah, I know. I hope I don't get punished for doing this. I will repair... This is cheaper than store repairs. Yeah, we'll do that. Stress for a dive. No thanks. Civilian! Our first civilian of the run since, you know, starting civilian sector. I am out of fuel. Only have three engines and two shields right now. I'm not feeling really good about this run. Uh, I have my systems... But I need a lot of upgrades. I need a lot of effing upgrades right now. I'm gonna hack that this fight, and I'm gonna mind control the pilot. Okay, we allow this one, Ooh, cloak this one, how did I not do any damage to shields, oh I did and they just already repaired it somehow, Repairs allowed, sir. Good. Oh man, I should take any fuel deal, but two is just too low. I hope I get three fuel by killing him. Damn, I got zero. This is about as bad as an auto shield hack auto ship. Thankfully not the best weapon on their side, but they were resultant pirates. Uh, talking about that fight right there, that fight wasn't nearly as bad as the last fight we just had. The Mantis bomber ship, I think. Okay. Is there a world where I ever use this? I think so. But whole laser two is interesting. And can I afford to buy a three power three shot weapon right now when I need third shield, four engines, and level three hacking? I feel like I can't afford to do that. can't afford to do that and I go looking for another store. I could get another beam again. 
For my YouTube FTL no pause hard mode Keshele first win was eight years ago. Okay. And I assume that was before I rage quit FTL for about a year. And then like three or four years ago I came back to attempting it again. That's that's my guess. That's my guess with my terrible concept of keeping track of time. Alright, I'm gonna get level three hacking right now and not not change any weapon things right now. Go looking for my other store. Yeah, I needed I needed I, I rage quit FTL for a while. It was a rough and I think it was I think it was rage quitting because of Harbo No Pause. Really really tilting me, which I know, big surprise for me, right? Okay, this time I am going to hack shields. Uh, you seem the rage quit is to several losses to plain bad luck as big factor. Uh, I don't know, back then I was even rager than I am now, I think, so... It might have just been getting frustrated that Stealth B is stupid on Harma No Pause or something. I don't, I don't remember. If you find the end of that playlist, you'll probably find what caused the rage quit. Okay, very nice free stuff. All right, so we have 10 if we go through Nebula Gems. 10, 9, 8... Seven, six, five, four, three, two. And then looks like no pause streaking six years ago. Okay. Have I really been doing it for six years? I feel like I came back to it a couple times, but I don't know. Again, my the concept of time does not exist in my brain. I don't know how time works. Uh Steam One stores. This might be my only other store. So four three two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But again, I get nine if I do this right. So nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That works. Can't imagine the absurdity of dealing with stealth B no boss. Is the depower trick even viable? Uh, you're talking about depowering your weapon right as they fire? I've never tried it. Probably is if you're very, 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 very good. But that's one of those things where the timing's so tight. I don't, I don't know how. No, what? You could consistently do it at no pause. Good dodges. That's a fire in there. In Giante boarding party, go. Good dodges. Really effing good dodges for him. Uh, your guess is I would be did streaking a while six years ago that got frustrated and quit for some time. That that's probably what it was, and it feels like. This round of hard mode, top, hard mode no pausing I've been doing for about two to three years. That's what my brain thinks. My brain that is bad at time, that's what it thinks. Five, six, seven, eight. Alright, I think I know the, the route I need to go here. You have to step away and run looks much different. You don't want to jinx it. Cool. That's a Vulcan, interestingly enough. And that's a pre-igniter. <laughs> pre-igniter Vulcan. Hmm. How much would it cost? 120 plus 95. That's a very expensive. I'm at six weapon power. Pre-ignited Vulcan plus halberd beam. Do it, I dare you. Okay. Um. You don't think Glaive D power is viable? No pause. Hollow tries it sometimes. 
you're not convinced his timing is right, consistent enough to be beneficial, could maybe be more worthwhile against a mini beam. Attempting against mini beams specifically. Um, one thing I will say about Vulcan, if you hack shields and Vulcan shields, there's fire chance on Vulcan. You can get some pretty decent crew kills, I think, with that. Pre-ignited Vulcan any good? If I'm going to use Vulcan, I would rather be pre-ignited than not be pre-ignited, because skipping the 11 second charge up is a pretty big deal. I still don't know if it's that good. Though. The thing I will say is if I just pre-ignite for Halberd Beam, I don't think that's worth it because you have to wait for the hack anyway, so that feels wasteful. So if I were to get Pre-Igniter, it'd probably be because I was going Vulcan. I just don't know that I like that better. Vulcan Halberd being built. We require seven power and weapons. Which I don't have enough for yet. <sighs> Too meme-tastic. I'll be honest, when hacking is not up, my weapons feel bad to get through shields. Because Crystal H and Halberd Beam are anti-synergy. This wants to pierce a shield, this wants the shields to be down. Pregnant of Pegasus. It's actually not a bad idea. I don't love any missiles for many reasons. But for a boss fight phase two, only one of these two missiles can do anything because he has a defense drone. I am seriously considering Vulcan right now. One twenty plus ninety five is a hundred and two hundred and fifteen. Two hundred and fifteen. I have 247. That leaves 32 plus 27. 32 plus 27. 2 plus 27. 59. 69. We've got 21 scrap of getting it online right now. What I have feels better, you think? The reason I'm thinking about Vulcan is because crew killing phase one. Halberd Beam, the one thing I can't... One thing negative I have to say about Halberd Beam, well, there's two things. It's expensive to get on early, but secondly is you can't crew kill with it. But we do have mind control for crew killing. Why don't I like missiles? Because they run out and they get shot down by a single defense drone. Too easily countered, and it's unsustainable offense. I'm not going to change my weapons. Not going to do it. I was thinking about it, but I should just buy my shields and my engines and call it a day, I think. I need a drone part. I'll buy one drone part. Alright. The, uh, the Halberd, I mean, the Vulcan dream is dead. Sorry, chat. Just do that. Uh, what's up, Grima? Are we winning? Uh, kind of, yeah. I don't love my offense, but hopefully it'll be enough. Still new to this game, so you always want to ask stupid questions. Uh, it's not a stupid question. Some people probably like missiles. I've just never been one of those people. And the, the reason for that is probably twofold, because the things I just said are the main reason. But also, missiles always leave a negative taste in my mouth, because enemies have a lot of them, and they don't have any of the downsides related to missiles, which is running out. You could argue, sure, they run out, but they don't... It doesn't matter if they have 15 missiles and they run out. Because they've already shot 15 missiles at you before they run out, and that's one fight. And every fight in the game could have 15 missiles. Actually, I don't know that they can, but some number. And if every ship, enemy ship in the game rolled missiles, you're just... The downside is 
just negated. There is no downside for enemies to have missiles and consumables. So, I hate them for two reasons. They're not as good for you as they are for the enemy, and all the other things I said. Over 50 plus runs, I still probably not got one run where I see both and had good opportunity to get there. See both of what? Oh, double Vulcan? Well, that's not good. I don't, I don't think that's good at all. It's meme-tastic, but it's not actually good. I don't agree with, um, I think it's Bridnoth who says one Vulcan is the same as two Vulcans. I don't agree with that. But I don't think it's actually a good build. Uh, 14 is the max, only a few ships. Most enemies have 10. So 10 to 14 missiles. And if every ship you run into, the entire run has missiles, that finite number of missiles doesn't matter because there's never you never live through that many missiles. Now, it's very rare that every ship in the game rolls missiles. But if it happens... The running out of missiles is basically a non-factor for enemies, in my opinion. Right, everybody's freaking running. Double missiles again. Missile and a bomb. Good job, Neo. Good dodges. Just buy defense drone, Kappa lol lol Kappa. I'm not- I'm also not saying that there's no cow counterplay to missiles. I literally have the best counterplay to missiles in cloaking and hacking. But, I just- I just hate missiles. I just hate them! Uh, the minimum, uh, enemies can have is six missiles, but again, that's if only a few ships. Mantis B Nightmares Intensify, okay. damage because I don't. And he turns on, of course, another beam drone. <laughs> oh no, I have 12 beam drones. I just keep them in my back pocket in case somebody shoots one of them offline. Any characters unclaimed? Yeah, uh, there's a couple Zoltans if you want a Zoltan. It's kind of late in the run, but if you want, if you want a crew, just let me know. Um, I have one NG and one Zoltan, I think. Yeah, it's it's we're we're in sector seven, about to finish sector seven, so I prefer to not rename this late in the run. shot. Good double reward. I don't know that I'll be able to make use of that Iron Intruder for scrap because I don't think we got any chances for stores, except we could have an exit beacon store and, of course, the small chance for Sector 8 store. So. Okay. I'm a little worried about Phase 3, the boss. If I don't crew kill Phase 1 and our weapons are not great for crew killing. We have no fire starting weapons, just two breaching weapons. Like I said, Halberd Beam does a lot of things well. The thing it does not do well is kill crew. It does not do that well. Blasted. 
Okay, well, look at all these free drones we get at the end of Sector 7. Thanks, FTL. Maybe we won't get a Sector 8 store to sell them, maybe. Okay. Alright, one repair is good for drone parts. That's my goal here. Uh, actually, a Sector 8 store with a crew killing weapon would be huge right now. Fire beam, a heavy laser of some sort could be really, really good. Would I go down there if it's a store? Probably not. Well, he has a really long path to the boss. The base. Okay, we have a little bit of time for once here. Four shields to set up allows for quite safe crew kills, you think? Are you thinking what, like an O2 crew kill or what? Do I wish that hacking worked like vanilla for you and like SMPK for the enemies? I guess you mean Insurrection Plus. Uh, sure. But I complain about things being fair or unfair a lot of time. That sounds really unfair. So that would be kind of stupidly unfair for the enemy. That flak too fired, we could have taken damage. I was a little, I uh, was a little mistimed on some things there. You've watched so many runs, you still can't follow what I'm doing. Okay. Well, I don't think we're getting the sector aid store. Even if it's there, we couldn't get it. What's your easy safe crew? Oh, uh, you didn't say easy. You said safe crew kills with four shields set up, Mike Copley. Because I am. With my not great offense, I'm kind of leaning towards this upgrade anyway. I feel like it's got to be like an O2 crew kill or something. Shield hack, mind control, slowly killing crew in the shield room. Okay, so the way I usually do it then, huh? Level 2 mind control is an interesting idea. Usually don't use the level 2 mind control, but probably make that happen. It's gonna be awkward for phase two. Ah, this needs to be a crew kill. This is a not enough time. And I can't really crew kill with this build again. I don't feel like I can. Oh, come on, man, these fucking dodges. Bombay also makes crew kill very hard here, so I don't even try. Uh, I usually go for shields by shooting them at shields. You would, you would not do that. Oh, you mean just mind control level two and the shields let them fight to the death? Uh, fun story. The reason you got FTL was that Day9 played FTL on stream. He was so ridiculously bad, you had to buy it and play it better yourself. Nice. You just mind control the crew and shields, let them kill their friends, or mind control and missiles alternatively at level 1, huh? Well, if I want to make, if I want to do that safely, I feel like I have to get missiles offline to do that. So I feel like that would be something like hack shields, my control in shields, kill missiles, and then just keep the missiles down while we let them kill each other in the in the shield room. My controlling and missiles are great if they're broken, as that crew will walk straight into shields. My controlling and missiles is great if they are broken, as that crew will walk straight into shields. I'm trying to understand what you're saying here. Um, I only need to press one level of missiles because I can cloak every volley. That's true. If I do one damage to missiles, 
we can cloak every volley. Alright, um... So we hack shields. Level 2 mind control and shields. Do one damage to missiles. I'll probably do two damage to missiles because I want to halberd beam it. That would give us a little more wiggle room. The only problem with that is that it's not really safe because if they triple hit with ion, we can take damage from their laser plus beam. I don't really call this... It's not 100% safe. So... I almost prefer to completely kill missiles so I can cloak other things. Is that what I prefer? Like, hack shields, just destroy missiles with my first volley while mind controlling them to shields. Hopefully they kill their friends. It's gonna take them a long time to repair sh missiles if I do three damage. Uh, no, I'm not gonna do that turbo jet. You can improve that safety with Zoltan Micro if I like. Zoltan Micro. What does Zoltan Micro do to keep my shields up when they triple hit my... Can I force power into here if they triple hit my shields or something? I think, I think I'm going to do what you're talking about with level 2 mind control. But I think I'm going to completely destroy missiles so I can cloak ions or lasers if they triple hit me. Move your Zoltan into shields after they ion shields. Does that mean my Zoltans have to be outside shields before they ion my shields? I'm not sure I quite understand. So I need them to be here. If they hit me with two... Interesting. That is interesting, actually. That's not something I've done before, but that is an interesting way to do that. Okay. Alright, so my plan here is... Hack shields. Shoot missiles with halberd beam and all my shots. Try not to over damage it, but just make sure we get it down all the way. Level 2 mind control in hacking once the hacking has refreshed. Because... I want to be able to control them getting in and out of the, in and out of the room, I think. Alright, let's see what he hacks. I might have to jump away and reset it. That is a great hack. Maybe even best hack, because my sensors are online. Um... Why he got damn it, game? Shot. What the oh, actual fuck? Okay. Well, I need for that for right now. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. That is not something I've really done before. Everybody in here. Okay, we have to cloak the next missile. Now, will we kill a guy here? You should have zero oh, goddamn dogs. Okay, we got one kill. That's good. I did not mean to move you there. Ah, uh, that screwed up, I think. Oh, this is very slow. I'm really I'm gonna do this one at a time. Ugh, this micro I do not like. It's really hard to do on no pause. 
One, get these other guys in here so I can lock you in. Fucking damn it, game! What the actual fuck? Okay, that's two down. Right, we did the damage, so the cloaking should be up in time, I think, because of the damage we just did. I think. God, no! Fucking damn it, game! What the actual fuck? Ah, crap. Fucking wear off. Wear off, wear off, wear off. There's that damage I'm worried about. Okay, missile down. Ooh, not, I think, I, yeah, the moving these guys around I do not like. It's, uh, it's hard for me to do that. Uh, timing correctly. On no pause, doing this perfectly. Why is there only one guy in there? Uh, Jesus. Oh, we're taking this next missile volley. This, I don't like this strategy. I'm, I'm not used to it, and I'm taking Death missiles in the meantime. Missiles, yeah, I don't, I don't like this slow kill. Maybe if I could pause. This is fucking really hard on with no pause. I'm just gonna finish this fight. I don't want to take any more damage trying a strategy I don't know. Fuck me! Now I'm all de fucking synced now. <sighs> fine, it's fine. Take another fucking missile missile volley. Death you should by have thousand fucking missiles. Man. They have all of the guns. Okay, let me finish it, please. There it is. Okay, okay, I can't, I can't do that on no pause. That's, I would have to practice that. Not on in the middle of a freaking streak. That's a lot of micro. Okay, um, we we did still get a couple. We got like three or four crew kills, which is good. Hopefully we can get a crew killer two on phase two. We took seven damage trying this strategy. I could see how that could be good if you like pausing every two seconds and all this stuff to perfectly move crew around. But I just, I, it's, it's too much effing micro. I can't do it on no pause, not without practice. Um, I have to deal with a boarding drone. Um, I see boards in my own bay, I guess. I feel like if I had better weapons, I could have done that too. Of course, the reason I wasn't trying to crew kill a different way was because of my weapons being crappy at crew killing. There's no crew killing in phase three, not phase two. It's all about. That's fine. It's all about. Well, I'm gonna. I say that, and I'm actually gonna go for a little bit of crew killing here. When they get in this room, this should give me one crew kill, I think. There's one. Yeah, it's freaking. Uh, Crystal H is basically worthless this phase. 
Yeah, that should be the face. Alright, so we got one more crew kill, unless there was a side room bug kill. Crystal H kind of does nothing there. I could have interrupted missile repairs a lot more by mind controlling the missiles when they went red. Yeah, I know. I, I'm sure there's many things I could have done better with this strategy I've never used. <laughs> I'm sure there were many things I could have done better. But I'm probably not going to plan on using a similar strategy like that in no pause unless I decide to practice it. It's... I'll be honest, when I have mind control, I usually don't go for slow rolling crew kills like that. I usually... We'll have a better weapon set up for crew killing, so. This has been a long run. Uh, just barely over two hours, not that much longer than a normal run. Let me refresh you. I'm gonna probably have three to five borders I gotta deal with, so. Um, doing a. An abduction strat here might be needed. I didn't save these positions. Okay. Uh, 27 does get me this, and that's it. Okay. So let's follow him. You're bored and run away if it looks bad. I think it was the first time I used the strat. It went pretty well. It was okay. It's just... Like, I try... Not only was I trying to slow play the crew kill with a mind control strategy I've never done, moving Zoltans back and forth on top of all that, it's just... It's too much micro using stacking new strategies on top of each other is a terrible idea when I'm doing something new for the first time on Harmo No Pause. If I were Farb where I don't care if I lose, what is it? I think Farb says stuff like that, like he doesn't care if he, he loses or dies or whatever. Maybe I could have gone for more, but I'm not Farb and I still haven't gotten fully into the I don't care mode. Didn't hit my doors, that's Ow. good. Neo Could you give here. me a goddamn Frickin break Neo. cheating ass mother effing game? Okay. Okay. Alright. Um Can't cook this. Double fucking fire in my piloting sucks. What the? Ah, oh, you hit my fucking backup battery mid shot. Um, okay, I'm gonna reset this. You, man. I'm resetting this. I'm going because I gotta fix my shit. Fucking FTL, man. Uh, that was really fucking bullshit right there. He hit my backup battery in the middle of my hack, so I did. I was able to do fucking zero damage during that hack. Two hits during cloak. I think my my piloting was dead. Is why that shit happens. It's fucking stupid. Double fucking fire in my shields while cloaked. Gotta love it. I swear, I saved these positions like six times. Okay, uh, my shitty offense is what's killing me right now. I need to refresh. But still, I got hit twice with 60% dodge and had a double fire. Still fucking bullshit, but you know. The cloak just does nothing. Well... He hit my he hit my piloting twice and started a double fire in piloting and shields. That was just a really shitty start to that phase. Um, I need to not have double and triple missile hits at the beginning of this fight this time. Oh, I see one border. Yeah, that was good. The that was good. Fuck on, man. Oh, come right, on. This timing's game. gonna work out, is it? Come on. 
Ugh, goddamn. Okay, we're through. Do this so that if he hits my back, the battery again doesn't screw me. Come on, these fucking dodges, man. Come on, get missiles down, please. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Poking guns up here, no more missiles. Should be good. GG, there it is. Ah, oh, a little sketchy there at the end, but we got there. Roxy is a win. Believers rejoice. All right, that is a streak of four in a row. Roxy down. Honestly, a fairly smooth run. We had two really bad fights, really difficult ships early in the run. Boss fight phase one was stressful because I was trying a new strategy I haven't done before. And phase three got a little overwhelming, but... Still a good win, still a good win. Let's check that score. 56-64, yeah, pretty good. Not a great, not an amazing amount of scrap. Um, our free stuff was pretty darn low, it feels like. You were worried I was going to lose. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that. GG, thank you. Uh, especially the micro with the clone bay down, that one run. Yeah, actually that was, that might have been the scariest point. That was yeah. That was the that was the two burst laser, two heavy laser fight in an asteroid field in sector two or three with two or three shields. It was ridiculous. Let me have my cookie, recover a little bit. Uh, just let my brain shut down a bit after that run. We did learn a new about a new crew killing strat on the boss. Phase one that I doubt I'm going to try to use because of the intense micro requirement. I just try to avoid high micro requirement strategies altogether and no pause. It's just, it's just too much. My, my, my boomer hands can't handle it. So I'm a Sam Stretchy Dressing Room. Y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. Enjoy chair ad time. When we come back, we will random another ship and hopefully continue to focus on the process, not the results, and play well. So see you in just a bit, my friends.